this stage is making a huge difference in their community, and now it's down to our final nominee for Good Neighbor of the Year. Just last month, anchor Jody Long from KCCI Des Moines introduced us to Tim from Families Forward. So here's a reminder. Homelessness is something that impacts much of the U.S. And in Des Moines, we are seeing an increase in the mm -hmm. homeless population, those experiencing homelessness. Of course, we have homeless shelters that really cater towards individuals, but not a lot of shelters that cater towards families with young children. So that's where Families Forward comes into play. Uh, the families we serve are single moms. Mm -hmm. Say they had two or three kids, they're working a job, $14, $15 an hour, maybe even 16 but you know, you, you have unaffordable health insurance or none at all, kids are expensive, yeah. apartments are very expensive. Mm -hmm. With families, it's really the lack of income that can be, you know, where they're living paycheck to paycheck. What we do, we have two programs. We have New Direction Shelter with Submergy Shelter. So we serve eight families at a time. They each have their own individualized bedroom. And we really try to make that a real home environment for those children, which we feel is very important. Mm -hmm. And then our primary responsibility with my staff is to help those families as soon as possible possible get into permanent housing. Yeah. We have another program called the Home Connection. We actually own 29 housing units. The majority of those are single family homes. Our families really feel like they are in a real home. You know, we're working with each family in terms of what we can do to help them, whether that's in you know, helping them with employment, getting better employment, or getting employment, getting the child care. With families that we work longer term with in a home connection program, we're helping them develop a household budget. Mm -hmm. and, and in a home connection, what we're really wanting to do is see those families be able to transition into market-based housing. And we have been so fortunate that about 10 to 15 percent of our families every year go into actually home ownership. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah with Juanita. This is a huge day today. She's been part of Families Forward program for years, but today she is becoming a homeowner. Oh my gosh, Juanita! <laughs> yes, it's super exciting. Um, actually, Laura, I will close on this beautiful house tomorrow. You are going to have so many Christmases, holidays with your kids in this home, Juanita. We couldn't be happier for you. It's all thanks to Home Connections and Families Forward. Your new house! This is so exciting! All right, what's up, Tim? So, so how, how do you think you're going to spend the money? How do you think you'll... Oh geez, you Holiday. know, we have we have Christmas coming up, the holidays I should mm -hmm. say. And you know, we serve a lot of children, a lot of children that are in an instable situation. And we wanna try to make the best holidays we can for them. So they feel like they're a regular kid, yeah. even though they're going through some some pretty traumatic things. Absolutely. Well, remind everybody, um, you know, what your organization, like how it could benefit from this boost. Well, you know, we at Families Forward, we serve uh, homeless families with children, which we call the hidden homeless, because there's always tends to be more exposure on individuals because sure, you know, here in New York City and the most communities, you're going to see the homeless sleeping outside, you're going to see them walking around, etc. And they, they need a lot of help. But you know, we have families with children that can't be out on the street. If they are, they're gonna lose their kids. They can't be living in a car. They're probably gonna lose their kids. So they bounce around a lot. You know, they go from one place to another and to another until finally they get the help they need to be able to have a stable home. And that is just so important for kids to be able to have that stable home so they can do well in school, they can feel normal like other kids and, and have a productive life hopefully when they get older. Yeah, you know, and I, I remind people this all the time, but I, especially when COVID hit, like, you never know. Like, one no. thing could happen that really puts you, it sets you back financially, and you can't catch up, and you never know when that might be your family. And I probably shouldn't say this, but, you know, something that, that, that always, yeah, I try to compartmentalize my feelings at times, you know, I, I, I have office in a show. We're human. I see Sometimes the families all the yeah. time. But it was about 15 years ago, and we had a snow day, get us a lot of snow in Des Moines. So I was up in the kitchen, and I noticed this little girl kept looking at me. And I'm looking at her, and she goes, oh, I know you, you're Emma's daddy. And I realized she was my daughter's classmate. Oh. God, sorry. And locker, two, two lockers from her. And I thought I'd seen it all. And I realized you never see it all. Mm -hmm. You never know who's going to be homeless. You never know. You know what the thing is, though, is that you just pointed out something that's so, it's so key and it's so important. I think people don't see things unless it directly impacts them. Yes. Open your eyes. 
Like it's all around, you know, I promise if you open your eyes and forget about your world just for one second, you know, that, but that, that's what that story means is you, you, you all of a sudden you see someone that you're like, wait, th you're here? Like you, 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 you have no idea when that could be your family. Um, well, America, there you have it. Um, our final nominees for Good Neighbor of the Year. I'm ending like this. <laughs> it's fine. Um, we've got some tough decisions to make because you're so incredible. Like, just thank you so much. You know, we give, like, we give kudos left and right all the time for celebrities and people doing things. I'm not knocking celebrities. Like, I just mean, like, we don't focus sometimes on the most important people in our communities really doing incredible things. And that's why I love that when producers came up with this segment, it's my favorite thing ever. I love doing this show. Thank you for doing what you do and inspiring all of us to be better versions of ourselves. Um, to find out how you can help us choose the good neighbor of the year, head to the Kelly Clarkson Show's Instagram right now. We will be right back with what I'm liking.